I really, I really just want to like take him shopping um, to like a real grocery store because he always going to 7-Eleven and I always be saying like, God damn, I remember one time he was going there to get some, some fruit. He was like, I'm about to give me some fruit. I'm thinking he's going to walk into a grocery store at least safely. He walked in 7-Eleven and I get it because he's buying cigarettes too. It's easy to get the cigarettes, get the beer, you know, he got hot dog. You know, I get it, but I get it. Trying to, trying to find a way that I can get to this woman and make her realize what she is. And what she is is an old prostitute who happens to be a current drug addict. All she's known is drugs. Yeah, oh, but she's I just know. all the shit that I do. She was telling you about her own life, bitch. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, baby. You want to give testimony? Okay. My dog says this after. This after. But oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. My dog. Listen, if y'all are. Not in, not in tune with the beef sector. This is too much. So tonight, um, is it tonight? Yeah, six hours ago, Uncle Tim went on live and he was going off on Heidi Fly. Um, I guess she was doing her thing and she had made some comments about um Uncle Tim, but they had been going back and forth about this show. I don't even want to get into a recap of it, but the shit is funny. Sean Bradley had this whole panel for the Orlando cast who went on a show out there and all of them was on there. And um, one of the cast members, Jay Dunn, she was the reason they called this all together because um, apparently some picture was leaked from set of her. And I think she really didn't want people to see how big she was because I honestly didn't even know she was as big as she was like wow so it made sense why the camera is close to her face like that she does the same thing um brianna does oh my god and i'm not trying to shave brianna or anything but that's the, they do the same i i understand it now um and so she was mad she felt like it was um they broke the nda and it was sexual discrimination because it was a side shot of her thighs her um her butt eyes to her thighs and the sad part about this is that, not even sad, but the like retarded part about this, not even retarded, and I don't wanna say that word either. The crazy fucked up part about this is, is that Five Babe sent the picture to Tracy D. Um, and it was like a kiki key key at the time, like, girl, look at how big this girl is while I'm here at set on this show. Tracy D is a friend of Five Babe, and so they're, you know, kiki and about Jay Dunn. However, Tracy D and Five Babe fell out, and so when Five Babe went to leak pictures about Tracy D's family and talk about Tracy D's family, similar to Tracy D, what she's been doing to Five Babe, Tracy D thought that exposing the fact that Five Babe had sent her a picture of Jay Dunn was going to get Five Babe in trouble, and so I think Sean Bradley called this whole panel together to say, and everything is cool. We're not gonna in trouble. Jay Dunn, say with your state your peace. What is your big problem? Like try to squash it to minimize the beef. But um the prop and the, also the biggest problem is that Jay Dunn got on there and there was no resolution. And it's clear as day that this Jay Dunn is going to break the end, continue to break the NDA. Cause you can tell she's the tree C for this Orlando cast. And I feel like that's how they create each like city show now, now that I'm paying attention to it. Um, you need a villain of the show and then sort of everybody has their own little beast, but there's this one person that no one likes. Um, and so like in the real beef sector, um, sometimes that's Tracy. I like Tracy. I don't, she doesn't bother me. She talks her shit. You talk her shit to her. She talks her shit. You don't really dislike any of them. Um, you know, well, there is one person, there's a couple I don't like. Um, I don't really care for Jay Wilson. Um, I don't like anyone who profess doubt you know like they have this whole religious hype about them but they're in the beef sector like to me that's contradicting like you can't do that i, I feel like you're a false prophet so I, I i could never take him seriously um i find uncle tim spill it boy i find him to be funny as hell i just be dying laughing i find zt to be funny as hell on ZTV. <sighs> okay i have to say this I do watch Rico because it's like a, it's like a TLC Lifetime show. And I be watching because I really, I really just want to like take him shopping um, to like a real grocery store because he always going to 7-Eleven and I always be saying like, God damn, I remember one time he was going there to get some, some fruit. 
He was like, I'm about to give me some fruit. I'm thinking he's going to walk into a grocery store at least Safeway. He walked in 7-Eleven. And I get it because he's buying cigarettes too. It's easy to get the cigarettes, get the beer. You know, he got a hot dog. You know, I get it. But I do. I, I like Rico because he keeps it a whole hundred from he waiting on his unemployment check to come to he trying to quit smoking cigarettes. Um, and the struggle is real. And so I get that. And I, I feel like. He's been exposed enough. People have been in his business enough. And now it's time for healing. And sometimes people can't just heal on them all themselves. Sometimes we need others just to sort of wrap their arms around us and say, babe, it's, it's cool. It's got you. I got you. And I know I'm a stranger to him, but I do want to tap him like, bro, it's cool. You got it. It's good. You know, um, especially with the fact that he mentioned the other day on his live that he smoked a pack of cigarettes a day and that was enough but then he continued to say you know and that's a lot of money a day and so he said you know that's like eight dollars a day and I'm like wow because eight dollars a day is not a lot of money um so to know that that's a lot of money for him and he does it he still try it's like yeah that might be a, you might need some help around that but I don't think anything that he's doing is so bad that he's um, incapable of stopping it. I do think he needs to stop coming online drunk. That shit is, that is a shit show to watch. I'm telling you, I'll be watching it like, what are you saying, Rico? Or I'll be like, jeez, you know, I'll be wanting to send you some water through a drone. We ain't too far from around the corners from each other and I and you know I'm telling you I have some um some clothes and stuff I'd be wanting to like send to you I can't wait for you to get your P.O. box like I said I'd be watching you from the bushes and um from one brother to another brother especially a gay black man to another gay black man I definitely want to see you succeed um there are certain things that I could share with you that are just personal things that might help you you know um such as like trim your face like before you come on live ever before you ever come on camera just trim just do a little trim and the reason i'm telling you to do a little trim is stop giving people shit to talk about like trim it up or don't come on live um t-shirt wise like a long 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 time ago it used to be acceptable to wear t-shirts that were you maybe one or two or three sizes too big you know that was the thing I remember when the Rough Riders were around, DMX, all of them. They used to do that with the construction teams. We used to rock it like that in New York. But now in 2020, you'll find less and less people, men, common men, wearing T-shirts that are one or two or three or four sizes bigger. And they're more, you know, maybe one size big, but they're closer to fitting. And it's just trend. It's, you know, it looks clean. It, it's sharp. So I would advise, you know, finding a shirt or a couple of shirts that fit your size. And they don't have to be brand label. You can go, you know, to your local Walmart, Target, and go buy a pack of t-shirts, assorted colors um, in your actual size. And I would say looking at you, you're probably a small or a medium. Um, no largest, no extra largest, no two extra. I don't know why you may feel uncomfortable with your arms and stuff like that, but this is a start to help you get to a point where you feel comfortable. Again, I like Rico, and I hate the fact that this may come off as a read, and trust me, it's not a read. I'm just a spectator. No, I'm, you know, I let me, you know, I'm not even going to put that out in the world. I'm just giving my commentary on that. Shout out to um, the official D spot. You know, it's weird because when you get onto YouTube and you, you do videos and stuff like this, you never, like, I know me, I never want to attach myself to one thing or one you know, I'm, I like to talk about celebrity news. There are certain celebrities I like talking about more than so I, I didn't want to catch myself in the beef sector, but I say all that to say, you do find these people who are also spectators in the beef sector, who have very good content and they have very, very nice personalities and they don't mind, you know, motivating you, helping you stay on course. And I want to shout out to the official D-Spot because I feel like um, you are someone who 
I go to their page and I'm like, oh God, he put up a video. I need to get, I need to put up a video. I need to stay fresh on content, not um, anything other than that. And I like your content. Um, I was gonna ask you about, you know, if you, if you, what were you gonna be doing, or were, were there any special recipes or anything you want to be doing for Thanksgiving, a Thanksgiving show? I don't know. Um, so shout out to you. I appreciate that.